Shouty. Shouty. Biggest Smalls, the anniversary of his death just passed yeah. recently. What goes through your mind when you look back on those times, man? Did you feel like y'all were in the middle of some legendary stuff? Definitely. Or did you just feel like, you know what, we're young, fun, and we the best at what we're doing right now? We did feel that way, too. Yeah. So the answer both, it <laughs> did feel legendary, but, I mean, we, were, we came in the game cocky thinking and knowing that we were the best. It didn't matter... Not to take away from big talent, the Tupac talent, the Nas or whoever was out there, but we always felt we were the best. Mm -hmm. But what goes through my mind during that time, Biggie was a, a great presence. He was a, a funny dude. He was a good friend. Mm -hmm. And I remember getting a call. I was actually on a ski trip when uh, Tata called and told me that he had just got shot and um, was killed. And him and Jay was, and I remember crying, you know what I'm saying? And me and Big wasn't as cool as Jay was, but I, I remember how, you know what I mean, how it hit me. Yeah, and uh, left the ski trip to go back to spend time with them, man. But it was um, it was definitely a sad moment for for the world. What was it like navigating through the industry at that time, though, man? With all of this beef going on, and I mean, y'all being big dogs in the game, it could easily get sucked into either side. I mean, when you come from the neighborhoods that we come from with beef every day, yeah, the beef in the game wasn't that. <laughs> it wasn't real beef. To yeah, us, you know. Radio Shouty! Shouty.